After watching this video, you should have a fundamental understanding of how you can do a unit conversion from one common gas concentration, which is parts per million, to another, which is milligrams per cubic meter. To illustrate this, I'm going to show you how you can convert from a concentration of CO2 in parts per million by volume to milligrams per cubic meter. To illustrate to you how you can use this common concentration unit, parts per million by volume, and convert it to another common concentration unit for gases, which is milligrams per meter cubed, I want to talk about this example of the concentration of CO2 of 450 parts per million by volume. This number is significant because scientists actually believe that if our CO2 concentrations get to this level, we have about a 50% chance that the average temperature on our planet will increase by 2 degrees Celsius. And of course, this has a lot of implications in terms of our climate and the weather patterns on our planet. Let's go ahead and convert this value, 450 parts per million by volume, to milligrams per meter cubed of CO2. Now this is really just a simple conversion problem. And so what I would need to first do is sort of define what this parts per million by volume is. So let me erase this. and I'm going to set up this conversion and explain to you what this means. 450 parts per million by volume can be thought of as 450 liters of CO2 per 1 million liters of air can also be thought of as 450 moles of CO2 for every million moles of air. So the parts per million is really similar to a percentage. Normal percentage is out of 100, whereas parts per million is out of a million. So in this case, it can be any un unit we want, liters, 450 liters of CO2 per million liters of air, or moles, 450 moles of CO2 per million moles of air. It could also be molecules or particles. We could say 450 molecules of CO2 per 1 million molecules of air, or air particles. So once we know this, we can now convert one of these units to our desired unit of milligrams per meter cubed by just setting up a conversion equation. Let me show you that. I'm going to start with 450 moles of CO2 per million moles of air. Now this is not the only way I can do this problem, but I'm going to start with this relationship and show you how I can convert to milligrams per meter cubed. So first thing I'm going to do is write down my parts per million by volume in its proper units. And I'm just going to sequentially now convert the numerator and denominator to my desired units. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to write in a conversion that involves the molar mass of CO2, which is 44.01 grams of CO2 in one mole of CO2. Of course, I get this 44.01 grams by summing the atomic mass, the relative atomic masses from the periodic table for carbon and two oxygens. This allows me now to cancel out my moles of CO2. And after this, I should get units of grams of CO2 per million moles of air. Well, I want, to, I want to keep going. So what I'm going to do now is convert that grams to milligrams, because I know my final target uh, unit is milligrams per meter cubed. I know there's 10 to the third milligrams in one gram, or 1,000 milligrams in one gram. That's essentially converted grams to milligrams. There's my unit cancellation. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this moles of air to liters of air using the molar volume of air at STP, or standard temperature and pressure. And I'm going to do this problem under those conditions. We know that one mole of air at 273.1 
1.5 Kelvin in one atmosphere has a volume of 22.41 liters. Now I can cancel out my moles of air and my final answer here should be in milligrams per liter. And if I do my math correctly for this part, I will get 0 0.884 milligrams of CO2 per one liter of air. Okay, I'm not done yet because I still want to express this in meters cubed of air, not liters of air. So my final step, I'm just going to use this number here and do one more conversion. I know that there are a thousand liters in one cubic meter and knowing that I can do my final step and this gives me overall 884 milligrams of CO2 per cubic meter of air. Notice that I just kept track of my units to make sure that they canceled all the way across, starting with moles of CO2, followed by moles of air, grams of, of CO2, till I got my desired units of milligrams, and in this case, per meter cubed. That's a dimensional analysis problem, converting from parts per million by volume to milligrams per cubic meter.